All right, so the kit is gonna consist of the fuel pump assembly, vacuum lines, and the plug and play harness. One end of the harness is gonna go to the terminals here, which supply the power to the second pump. Then it's gonna be a long lead all the way to the front of the car. So this is gonna be routed underneath the car, zip tied to the fuel line on the passenger side. Then the power is gonna continue going through a series of relays and fuses. And then on the other end of the harness, you're going to connect it to power and ground on the battery zone. This is the hop switch we're gonna tee into the vacuum line on the manifold. The same one we use for the oil catch can and blow up valves. The hardest part's gonna be this, and then this is gonna be pretty much straightforward. Let's get to it. All right, so before installing this pump, what I'm gonna do is try to blow out anything that I can't see with the human eye. The pump is pretty clean. Let's go on into the tank now. A heads up, I didn't catch this. I knew something was off, um, but these fuel lines, they didn't come with the clips. So you have to transfer these over from the OEM basket that you had. So before you ship out the core, remember to replace these and you should be good to go. All right, so to remove the seat, there's gonna be two locking mechanisms, one here and one over there. You're just gonna pull on this black tab and lift up on the seat. Remove the seat and it's gonna expose the first hat here you wanna remove. It's being held down by four 12 millimeter bolts. Before touching any of this, you wanna make sure that it is spotless. The one that's really bad is in here. On top of the fuel pump, the hat, you wanna clean that off. Do not open that until it's clean. That way nothing goes inside your pump or prematurely clogs your, your fuel strainer. You're gonna lift up, you're gonna unfasten uh, this main harness here. You're gonna unfasten the top of the line here. You can use a rag just to you know hold it on top just in case it squirts at you. But before you do that, just make sure to open the fuel cap. You can relieve some of the pressure like that. And you have like this retainer holding down the entire pump assembly. And those are eight millimeter bolts. Just get an eight millimeter socket and remove those. You can also use a Phillips screwdriver as well. So these are the eight millimeters. These are the 12 millimeters. Once you remove that, it's gonna be spring loaded. So the cat is gonna come up. Start removing the fuel pump assembly. Be very careful. This is very sharp here. Do this job when you have less than a quarter tank. It's gonna make your life a lot easier and you're not gonna risk getting a lot of gasoline all over you and your car. All right, so before we get started, I'm putting aluminum tape on the brim of the tank. That way the sharp edges do not cut these hoses. All right, so we're gonna have to remove everything. Unclip the harnesses and notate where the harnesses go. So on this side, it's the blue, the blue and black wires. That way I know the blue and the black wires go on this side and the yellow ones go on the other. Secondary pump went in first. You gotta first fish the float through. With the pump in, the secondary pump, we're gonna go ahead and locate this here. It goes like that. You want this nipple going over the edge there like that, and then this. back here and that's gonna connect to that nipple back here okay now what I'm gonna do is put this baby in Harnesses up. Let's make sure that both of those lines are still connected down there. Let's also make sure that 
there's nothing obstructing the weight of the float so maintain all the harnesses upright position be very aware not to lift that basket up too much because then the secondary pump goes loose and then we're screwed that thing is not easy to get on there all right so positioning the secondary pump out to the passenger side and I'm tucking in all the hoses and put the springs on here and I'm going to tape try to hold the spring up and connect that harness to the secondary pump now you want to connect the wobble harness that goes there because I know I marked it. And one goes there. Red and black goes there. Now I just gotta line up the holes for the springs. All right, I have them in the hole. I'm holding on the hat so it doesn't pop out. I'm gonna remove the tape, push down far enough so the top hat doesn't move. And now we're going to remove the tape, which is going right there. Now we're just gonna put these six fasteners in here, connect the harness, connect the fuel line, and do the wiring. The next task is gonna involve removing those 10 millimeter bolts, going all the way down. And that's gonna expose the fuel lines. That way we can zip tie this harness onto it and route it all the way to the front of the engine. clips here just one plastic ribbon so now with all those bolts and that nut and one plastic rivet you can kind of bring this down to expose the fuel lines that's the fuel tank and they run all the way down so we're pretty much just gonna zip tie this harness to the fuel lines and we're gonna run the power and ground up through here to reach the top of the hat. Okay, so what I'm doing now is getting a shoestring, pretty thick one, and I'm just dropping it back down there. What I'm gonna do is just tie this end here. Now I'm gonna reel this up. Black with the minus sign, red with the positive, and let's put a washer and the nut. All right, so I have those two cables connected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this harness here. Arrow pointing forward. Now it's all sealed. Start removing a couple plastic rivets. There's gonna be a small grommet inside the wheel well. That's where you wanna enter from. Okay, so to pass this wire properly, I'm gonna end up taking this out that battery tray. All right, so I decided to retain the factory grommet over here. That way I don't cut it up. Just in case I ever wanna remove this modification, I can just put that grommet right back with no issues. So what I used is some cork tape to kind of make something to cover that hole. It's some pretty sticky stuff it looks like tar i'll put a link to this stuff in the description so you guys can buy it works perfect so i think with all this excess wiring i believe they wanted us to route it over the fender liner towards the front of the car back around 
up that fender through the back of the cowling back to the battery to avoid the engine and any moving parts. But since I just ran it through the fender on the passenger side, I have a few feet of extra wire. So what I did was just, you know, um, wrap it up, zip tight, and I tucked it behind this firewall here. This is the harness for the hop switch. So I'm routing that underneath the cowling. I'm gonna zip tie it here and it's coming out from on top of the AC line. And now what we need to do is tie into the backing line. So on the OEM setup, you have a backing line on the back of the manifold that goes to the valve cover over here. But since we have an oil catch can, we have two hoses going to both of those ends. What I'm gonna do since I already have an oil catch can and I have blow valves and everything is getting routed, the vacuum all comes from the manifold. I'm just gonna tee into the blow valve line that I have here. Put a little bit of this stuff. This is like Teflon tape PTFE. However, it's just ethanol resistant. I'm kind of giving up on using that threaded tape, so I'm just using paste instead. I'm starting to use this on everything. All right, so I believe I'm gonna put right here, on one side of the barb T, one end, another on that side. You just need a small piece. What I'm gonna do now is zip tie these ends, and then I'm gonna put some tape around the red and black wire. Let me go ahead and zip tie everything. Then I'll give the car a start to see if it works. So everything is installed, tucked away nicely. Let's see if we hear the pumps hum. Perfect, we heard it hum. Let me prime it one more time. Yeah, three times the charm. Let's go ahead and start it. Verified everything is okay. You turn on the car. You took it for a ride. Came back home. Just tighten everything up, and we should be good to go, man. Um, if you want for safe measures on the ride, you can monitor your fuel trims. As always, guys, keep it locked into my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, this.